Today is another experimentation day. We're going to see just how far every single hero can get at level 1 versus level 20. But like always, before we start, I need to explain a few things. So first off, just so we can get down every single hero at the start of the game without having to worry about getting through a couple rounds, you know, saving up some money and buying them. We're just reducing the price of everything. It's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to make me get further in the game because everything's cheaper, you know. Just to get the ball rolling a little quicker, three more things. For every single hero, we're just going to get down. I don't even know what these are called pontoon or something we're gonna get one of these down right in the middle so like Quincy will be right there this guy will be right there blah 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 blah. everyone's gonna be in the exact same spot right in the middle right here just like I did when I did the paragons also when we put something down I turned off monkey knowledge so it's gonna be level one obviously you might be thinking heroes level themselves up they get stronger over time and you like you can't avoid them leveling up right my solution to this is so stupid but I I think it's gonna work what I'm gonna be doing is getting down like 10 or 20 I don't know however many Normans we can get because Norman doesn't deal any damage right we're not gonna have to worry about that and the more heroes we have down the harder it is for them to level up they split the XP you know and if he does we'll just sell him and rebuy him it's not gonna be a big deal all right one last thing let's say this guy is level 20 right he's gonna have abilities but I don't want to sit here and micro abilities for hours and hours on end. So I'm just going to be putting one tech bot on every single... I got to level them up. Hold on. Never mind. I don't have enough money. But you know, I'm going to put one tech bot on every single hero. That might make it so they don't get quite as far as they could you know if you timed everything perfectly but it's really not a big deal nothing gets past my bow oh my god i just linked a tech bot with itself and it crashed my game uh word of advice don't ever do that all right with that let's get started first up mr quincy make sure he's in like perfect positioning just like that and then like i said we'll just get down a bunch of normans once again this is the last time i'm gonna say it he's not gonna deal any damage it's really not gonna do anything besides steal xp from quincy okay that should be good also no 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 one more thing i have to mention these guys should i do it where they get just like a radar scanner or an mib i feel like that's only fair i think every single person will just get an mib it's not gonna allow them to attack faster or do anything it's just gonna let them hit everything okay now we get started i want to like get past round one first and see just how little it actually like levels up so oh my god it's a tiny tiny sliver no 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 that's way too fast okay we need more normans honestly i'm just gonna i'm gonna get down so many of them i don't know it's gonna be fine i'll speed it up now see how far we can get bro it's round 16 and we've already leaked 25 lives level okay this is gonna be so much better than doing the paragons holy shit dude because that video took me like 16 hours to make because obviously paragons are overpowered but yeah i can already tell this is not going to take another 16 hours so i'm very very happy about that there is no way he's killing this round 19 is that really gonna be it um yep Okay, level one Quincy can get to round 19. Okay, so very similarly to how I did the Paragons, I'm only going to show the first guy, and then everyone else is just going to be time lapses, you know? Just showing the process of me getting this guy to level 20. It's not going to be a hard process, but here we go. So I guess first of all, we can get one Norman. We can go like this. And since everything's so cheap, look at that Monkey Wall Street already. We get another one, Banana Research Facility on round one. Isn't that ridiculous? We will get our tech bot right here. We'll level up Quincy as much as we can. And then we throw this on top. And now we just wait, saving up money and getting upgrades. Honestly, for the rest of these, I might just get the banana farm paragon since it's free anyway. All right, finally. I guess not really finally. It's only round 16, but he is now max level. We can go ahead and sell everything else. And now we just sit here and wait. Okay, round 76 is a whole lot of uh, regrow ceramics. And unfortunately, our tech bot timing was not the best, which means we don't have our arrow ability. So we are going to lose on 76, but I don't think that's very fair. I'm sorry, this is going to be the one exception. After this, I'm not going to do this again. If we have bad timings, then boohoo, oh well. I'm going to set it back to round 76, because watch this. We use the arrows, and yeah, it's no problem at all. Okay, like I said, for now on, we're not going to be doing that. It is what it is. If we lose on a stupid round, we lose on a stupid round. And we're going to lose again. Okay. <laughs> round 79 was the limit. Moving on, we got Gwendolyn. We have ignition.
round 32 and i'm just now realizing how terrible heroes actually are at level one i genuinely thought all of these would be able to like at least get to the moab okay round 21 <laughs> that's garbage level 20 let's do it So not surprisingly, Gwendolyn got much further than Quincy because she has splash damage, obviously, and all the fire. It's great. All right, round 82. You know what? I'm getting sick of this pontoon. It looks so stupid. I'm going to go buy a new one. Yeah, this right here. Iceberg pontoon. That's going to look so much better. No! Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I have it so I can buy them in the shop and it gets rid of it. Ah, that's so lame. I would just buy more in the shop, but I'm all out of monkey money, which means I am stuck with this little piece of shit right here. Anyways, moving on. Striker Jones level one. Prepare for liberation. This is gonna be it, isn't it? Round 19, we have 39 lives left. Now we're down to 10, 5, and that's going to be it. Okay, round 19 for level 1 Striker Jones. Level 20, baby. Fortified Moab is about a leak. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, maybe maybe it's gonna be close nope never mind okay round 75 was the limit bro i love oben i'm genuinely so excited for this one nature's revenge shall be swift and terrible damn right it will be oh my god the first time it's actually leveled up that's not good okay get him back down but honestly it doesn't matter anyway there is a 0% chance he's beaten this round. He's just too old and fragile at level 1. We gotta, gotta get him maxed out. Sad to see it, but only round 27. Alright, old man, let's see the strength. Um, What I'm gonna be doing is putting the wall of trees towards the end of the map all the way up here. I'm just worried that when we put it right there... Hold on, let me get a tech bot. Is it gonna be hit by the balloons that come through? I don't know, it's not gonna matter too much. There's no way, right? Round 80? Don't leak. Oh my god. Oben, I'm very disappointed in you. You let Gwendolyn beat you. Of all people, Gwendolyn. That should not happen. Oh well, moving on. Next up is Captain Churchill. I'm excited for this one. Laser bombs prime. We got a couple rainbows and a ceramic coming through. Definitely not going to be enough. All right, round 38 was the limit. Let's max them out. It is now round 95 and the DDT is going to be coming in. This is where I've been worried. I've been impressed though. We have a new leader. Round 95, no way he's going to be able to take care of it. There we go. We lost. You know what? I'm a big dummy. I didn't even realize that we haven't been showing the damage. So for now on, we're going to be doing that. I'm a, I apologize for forgetting. But Churchill had 1,261,000 damage. Our new leader. Next up is Benjamin, but he's just a little dweeb, so he can't actually do anything. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. All right, Azalea, let's do it. <laughs> what is your will? Bro, come on now. Level, no, not level, round 17. Garbage. However, the good thing is the difference between level 1 and level 20 on Azili is insane. Like, Azili is, okay, arguably the best late game hero at level 20. She's ridiculous. I mean, you could say Adora or Sai or someone else, but I don't know. Azili is ridiculous. Let's see the true power, and she is now level 20. I need to, like, decide where to put her totem, though. I don't think it really does anything, like, alone, does it? I don't know. Because I know for a fact, if you have, like, other things around near the totem, it gives them, like, P 
pierce boost, range, attack speed, or whatever. But I really don't know if it does anything to her. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Never mind. The only problem is every time she uses the totem, she drains one life. So I was thinking, I was like, I'll just get like one marketplace so we can get one more life every round. But then I realized we're probably not going to get to round 200 solo with Azili. So it's going to be fine. Speed it back up. Oh my god, round 69, we lost. I, at least it was a good number, but I am genuinely like disappointed. The, I thought Azili was going to be the furthest so far. I guess she's not that great against like group balloons and stuff, just Moabs. So I guess it's not like too surprising. Let's see the damage, 150,000. <laughs> not too great. Big man, Pat Fusty, it's your turn. Well, I'm ready, all right. So far, the thing that has taken the longest is just placing down all these Normans. So the hotkey for placing down heroes is U, but since we already have like a main hero down, all that does is just, yeah, cycles through the heroes, doesn't let us place them down, you know? So we're stuck doing this, and honestly, I don't even care that much. I am so used to placing down this many Paragon totems every single time, so we'll be all right. We are now out of money. Please don't let me down, big fella. Oh my god, round 16. Not great. Alright, let's see what level 20 is made of. Yeah, he's getting angry. Oh boy. It's always these regrows take us out every time. Alright, round 76. Not too bad. I was expecting him to get a lot less than that. Damage was 245,000. Not the best, but not the worst. Adora. We begin at once. See, this one will be cool to see, besides the fact that we won't have a temple. Like, if we had, like, a maxed out uh, VTSG, you know? It, it would be crazy. But unfortunately, that thing deals damage, so we can't get it down, so it's not going to be at its full potential. Get it together. Looks like she cannot make it past round 26. That is going to be the limit. Blue balloon leaking out. 26. Um, I know that you can also use like the blood sacrifice, but I'm pretty sure that's just for XP, right? Like, let's say I got down a farm and we sacrificed it. Yeah, it's just XP, so it's not actually going to do anything. Or is it? I don't know. I haven't used a door very much, so I don't know exactly how it all works. So we're just going to leave her be, speed it up. Here we go. Oh man, she does not do great against DDTs. <sighs> I thought we were going to have a new leader for sure. Oh well, 93 is still pretty solid. Let's see the damage. Not Almost a million. Not too bad. But we still have yet to reach the BAD or even get past round 95. <laughs> That's how far we've gotten so far. Moving on, we got Brickle, the only water hero. Admiral on deck. Oh boy, we're down to 10 lives, round 27. Got a couple of yellows leaking out right now. Not gonna be enough. All right, 27 was the limit. Let's move on to level 20, just like that. Perfect, throw the tech bot on there. And now we wait. Honestly, I'm feeling like this one's gonna get pretty far. Cause like all the bombs and everything, I don't know. Hopefully by the end of this, we will have at least one hero that gets to round 100 solo. Like I'm genuinely surprised that none of them got that far yet. Come on, don't let the ceramics leak. And you're letting the ceramics leak, that's great. Another hero not getting to round 100. Round 81, let's see the damage. About 400,000. Oh, Etienne. Once upon a time. Perfect, Mr. Bookworm. Oh boy, round 18. So bad. So bad.
So it's round 89. We got one more round till the DDTs come. Please just take care of this because I don't know how good it is against DDTs, but it can't even get there. Great. 747,000 damage. We have four more towers left and luckily the next one up is my favorite hero in the entire game besides Norman, Sada. Let's make some ribbons. No, it's gonna be close. Never mind, not even close. Okay, round 25. Honestly, that's kind of expected for Sada. At level one, she is not very good. I can't even lie. As much as I like her, she's not good at level one. Level 20, on the other hand, whole different story. Please, 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 if any of these are gonna let me down, I just don't want it to be Sada. No way, we're onto the DDTs, and it can actually take care of them. Okay, is this gonna be the one? Is this gonna be the one that can get us to round 100? I really hope so. I don't think so, but I really hope so. Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. Round 91 was the limit. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't even care. Well, first of all, let's see how much damage there was. Uh, almost 800,000. I'm gonna get an Ultra Boost. I'm gonna get a Perma Brew. I'm gonna get a Homeland Defense. We're taking care of this BAD. We still got more heroes to do, but I don't even care. We're not letting Sada lose. All right, here we go. We did not get here fairly, but honestly, I don't care. We're still gonna take care of it. Two ZOMGs stands absolutely no chance, right? That's right. Sweet. All right, moving on. We got an exciting one, Mr. Emporium. Welcome to the Emporium. So when it comes to Geraldo, if you leave him alone, he is not getting far. He'll get to maybe round like I don't know, 10, 15 at most. So that's why I need to try my best to get down all of his little abilities and micro him as hard as I can. But if you know anything about me, you'll know that I hate microwing and I'm not the greatest overall at this game. So I'm gonna try my best, but I can't promise anything great, okay? So we get down a turret. This is a good placement right here. We get down a second turret right here. Turret number three. We also have these little road spikes. I'm gonna place as many as I possibly can at the end of the map so we can build them up. I don't know if they like have a limit. If I were to put these down right now and nothing got passed for like 30 rounds, will they still be here? I don't know. We'll get one more of these guys and then we'll get down a couple totems. All right, he's about to level up. We gotta sell him and rebuy. Now he's level one. Sweet. Oh, look at that. All the Normans leveled up. That was kind of satisfying. Spread some love with the pickles. Some more spooky totems. Absolutely. Oh, God. He leveled up. Okay, sell him. Rebuy him again. God, stop leveling up. One more time. Probably not going to be the last time because we're not even struggling right now. Geraldo's just so good, dude. I love him. Some more pickles. Some more road spikes. This is looking a little scary, but we have... I don't even know how many spikes we have at the end right now. It's got to be at least 100 at this point, so I think we're going to be okay. That's if they even get there, and they're not going to because these crossbows are way too good. Oh boy, I don't think they're going to make it here. Come on, road spikes. Oh, it's going to be so close. And no. Okay, round 59. Wait. No. The ceramic's going back. Come on, we can do this. Okay, we beat round 59, but we no longer have road spikes, so we gotta start doing that again. We got the BFB coming in, and can we take care of it? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. And it's sad to say, but that is gonna be it. Okay, round 61. Now we move on to level 20. Max them out. There we go. Now we have everything we could ever ask for. First off, let's get down the bunnies. Gonna want those early. Then we get down four of these guys, just like before. But they are gonna be a lot stronger. And we can throw on some sharpening stones, last a while. Get some uh, camo potions, some extra range. Now we have the mega bunny. Yeah, look at it. Oh boy, we're at our new record. Okay, round 96. We just gotta make it to 100. Oh, what? If you give the jar of pickles to Geraldo, it turns... Oh, uh, I never knew that. Oh, come on. I really don't want the Maelstroms to activate. Please, please, no. 
It's gonna be so close. Don't activate. Okay, I think we're good. If you can't tell, we have like 50 of them inside of each other. If that goes off, they're all gonna go off. That's not gonna be fun. Yeah. God damn it. All right, BAD, how are we gonna do this? Um, Start building these up again. Get another Maelstrom. We do have a genie to work with, that's great. Okay, that's already on there. Once this pops, we'll throw the genie on top. Or right now works, we'll do that. Get a totem, perfect. ZUMG is going down. All right, we beat round 100, like legit, finally. But we're not gonna beat this round. The very next one, the Maelstrom's already going off. Throw down a couple more mines, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. I uh, take it back, we got it. But not 103, all right. That was probably the longest one, but Geraldo, round 103. Damage looking like 2.4 million. Pretty impressive. All right, now we got Corvus, level the one. Spirits awaken. I don't want to disappoint you guys, but I've used Corvus one time ever. I'm going to try my best. Also, shut up. Stop talking. I'm going to try my best to get as far as I can, but I promise you it's not going to be great. Level one, we got three abilities. One of us gives us XP, so we don't want that. We got the repel. The spirit gains a force field that pushes balloons back whenever they're touched. Or the spear. The spirit gains a slow firing energy spear that arcs off small chain lightnings every time they pierce. Okay, so this might be pretty good. Throw the spear. Damn. Okay, that's kind of crazy. The bad thing is at level one, we don't have the harvest ability, so we can't get more mana. We need to be like very careful about it. If we're going to lose, we'll use an ability, but we cannot be wasting them until right now because this is not looking great. Throw this on there. Some more lightning. I'm going to save my lightning. We're going to take some leaks here. It's not going to be too many, though. Not enough to make us lose. But zebras, those are terrifying. We need the lightning. I think if I can somehow get up to the Moab, then I'm going to be very proud, very happy with myself. I don't think that's going to happen, though. We might even lose this round. Oh, boy. Nine lives. And now, once again, we're out of mana. This is going to be it. Round 32 was my limit with Corvus. I told you it wasn't going to be great. All right, it's time. Let's go ahead and max out Corvus. The problem is, I don't know what like any of these abilities do. Or any of these, I don't know. Right now, we're fine. I don't know what these abilities do. Oh, you can shift it. Oh, okay. What about this? I don't know. I know this one does suck up the balloons, which is going to be good for mana. We're full on mana, and I don't really want to waste it, because I'm pretty sure every single one of these abilities is temporary. If they're not, I'm just kind of a dumbass, and I don't know. Even just this little guy is going crazy. Look, that's a Moab. Takes care of it instantly. That's crazy. Honestly, I should start using Corvus. This is so strong, and I have never really given it a chance. I never thought the day would come. Okay, bigger size. That didn't do anything. Onslaught of energy blades. How's that? Yeah, it's like a tag shooter. Oh my god, this is gonna be close. Um, stay right here. Please. Please. What does this do? What does this ability do? Does it make it better? Uh, come on! Oh my god, no! I know we can beat that round though, okay? We're doing that again, I don't care. Massive damage. Throw the attack shooter. Activate this. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that, that's gonna be my limit. I have no clue what I'm doing. 87 with Corvus, my limit. Okay, I am not good with this thing. 640,000 damage. Hello, the volume might be a little different. That's because I was completely done editing this video, 100%. And then I realized, oh my God, I forgot Psy. So we're gonna do Psy now. Sorry for forgetting you. With focus, we act as one. So just like the rest of them, Psy is hot ass at level one, getting to round 18. But what about level 20? Please, please do not disappoint me.
No, 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 no. There's DDTs and the, uh, the big ability. I wasn't loaded yet. Round 93. I was expecting that one 100% to get past the BAD. Unfortunately, it did not. And I completely forgot to check the damage, so I apologize. It's been a long day. We have one final hero to test. The best hero in the entire game. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Norman. Hey, we max him out. The level doesn't even matter because he's just crazy all the time. Watch this. We set it to around 999, right? Oh, it only goes to 500. Okay, 500 is fine. We throw in a fortified BAD. He gets close and he's just gone. Norman's the greatest hero of all time. Unlimited rounds. Well, anyway, that was fun. Right now, I'm going to throw on the screen the top five level ones and the top five level 20s. Take a look at it. Pause the video. There you go. We literally had one hero get past round 100, which is kind of ridiculous. Like, I... I was expecting more, but it's okay. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Adios.